hi and welcome to a new video in this video we will be making i'll be showing you how you can uh, change the cons the color of the text in the console in uh, c plus plus by the way guys i'm uh, sorry because i was uh, i didn't post a video for a while but i was uh, gone in a vacation and uh, then I was uh, grounded a little bit so I couldn't uh, make videos but uh, now I'm here and hope you enjoyed this video so I'm using code blocks but you can use whatever you want and I'm gonna create new project console application C++ and I'm gonna name it tutorial color change you can name it as you want and then uh, go here and then name that cpp and here is the main code here is the library we'll be using we'll be using iostream the library iostream and then we'll be, we're gonna be using the namespace std and then in the int main we have here return zero and see out hello world you can put every, anything here um see out high but if we run it uh, it uh, shows high but it's all in one color and that's pretty boring so a way to change that is by uh, using another uh, library so we will be needing the library windows dot h just like that and uh, we have to declare the console so for that we do handle with capital letters h console or whatever you want to call it you can call it only console if you want but i'm gonna name it h console equals get std uh, handle so you didn't see properly but it's get std handle and then in parentheses it's a function std with capital letters underscore output underscore handle just like this and then semicolon okay so on the and then on the and then that's only that's how to declare the console and to actually change the text you just do set console text attribute just like that set console text attribute and then in parentheses age console or whatever you named it and then uh, we're gonna do the number there are 255 uh, colors of the text but i usually just work with the first 15 because the next be, uh, after the 15th one the 15th color are just um, uh, changes uh, the background also and I only want the text to be changed so for that I'm using only the first 15 the next after 15 are all uh, with uh, is are changing the background of the text but if you are interested also in changing the background then you can do that so you can experiment with this I'm gonna also like a, leave a link in the description with the, the every a color code like one what color is it two or three etc but you can mess around with them for example if i put eight here and then a uh, semicolon here and then then this high right here as you can see is going to be gray but if i put something like 14 the color of the text will be yellow if i put 
12 then I think it's gonna be red yeah it's red so uh, you can mess around with the colors but the thing is you can also make specific parts of the specific parts of, yeah, of the console uh, a color and like you this doesn't set all of the text in the console it only sets the color of the text that's that will be after this line so this line sets the color to red 12 is red the color of the text and the next things you see out will have this color but if we see out the text what here uh, and then an end line then you can see that the what te what the text is uh, gonna be a different color and the high will be red all of that will also be red so all of the text after the set console text attribute function will be that color but before that it will be the basic color or the color you change it so for example if i want to have the text what uh, to have the color yellow and then the text high to have the color red and then uh, as you can see when i run it this process returns zero execution time zero that this text right here is also the last uh, is the color of the last color change so what if i want that last co text to be a certain color and the what to be yellow well i just do set console uh, text attribute and then each console and then uh, 14 this changes the text color to yellow so if I want the text what to be yellow and the text high to be red and the anything after that to be for example gray I would uh, declare the age console then set the console text attribute to 14 which is yellow and then we see out the text what which will have the color yellow but then we change the text color to 12 but the what remains uh, to the color yellow and the 12 is red so then we see out high which is gonna be have the color uh, red and then we just set console text attribute to age console and uh, 8 8 is gray so if I want the, that uh, return thing to be gray then we just um, put uh, set the text console at the end of every other line in the int main before the return zero we set the the color to whatever we want and as you can see if we run it the what text is gonna be yellow because we uh, put the set console text attribute edge console to yellow and then we see out what and then we change the attribute to red and then we see out high so what is yellow high will be red and then we change the color to red and we return zero so this process return zero will be gray so hopefully you understand it uh, so this doesn't change all the color in the console uh, it just changes uh, some parts of the text and as you wish uh, by the way so uh, you can uh, to to know easily what the number is each color you can just do a for loop for in 
i equals 1 semicolon i is lower or equals to 255 add plus plus so this repeats the this loop two, two thousand two hundred fifty five uh, times and uh, the i is the number of the loops we've made so i will be one two three four five until 255 and this loop will run 255 times we can actually set console text attribute age console and then i so we set it to the current current i and then we sell the text we sell for example i colon hello and uh, if we run it as you can see uh, let me put the end line right here sorry so if we run it As you can see, it sets the current number, the current number and the text hello in that in that color. So, for example, you can see here that uh, the one, the number one is uh, the color blue, the number two is the color green, the number three is color sign, and so on, so on. Uh, as you can see, after 15, all of these are uh, have also their background change. I said that I don't like my background to be changed, uh, so I'm not using uh, anything next, uh, anything after 15. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And uh, that's how to change the color uh, of the text in the console in C++. Um, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.